Hey y'all, so this is the intro to, I don't know lighting, the beach vlog. I'm not a vlogger. This is our first full day here. We got here yesterday. We're in Ocean Isle Beach. Mm, yay. I'm reading that. Buddy reading that with Lindsay. And then in my beach bag, I'm reading three books right now, guys. Who am I? I'm reading Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. Y'all, I don't know about that. Like, I know people rave about it, and I know there's people that still read pretty much clean fiction and all that, but, like, the first page was already talking about, not the first page, but, like, the first chapter was talking about some sexual content and things like that. Not Nothing explicit, but, I mean, it was still talking about it and hmm, things like that so guys I really I don't know I don't know I really really want to read it I'm going to give it like a couple more chapters but if it's just too much I'm not gonna I'm not gonna continue on and then I'm halfway through reading Legacy of Mercy so I'm just like two or three chapters in Katie Ganshard's book the first chapter and every summer after and then I'm halfway done with Legacy of Mercy so I got a whole week to read all three of them, um, because that's my goal. I want to get done. Went to the beach earlier. We got some lunch. I got some sun, and um, we're getting ready to go to the store to get some groceries, and go back and um, take maybe an evening walk on the beach, things like that. When we first got here, we went to the beach, and I filmed some clips too. But I think I'm just gonna put all the beach clips in one in one go in one section but y'all I'm having fun I'm so blessed this is my really my first vacation in like five years or something like that and then it's been almost 10 years since I've been to the beach I feel so close to God uh, at the beach I just am so thankful for his beautiful creation so y'all I'm excited and um we're gonna go to a couple bookstores here and stuff like that within the week so I'm gonna vlog that too I'll catch y'all in another part of the vlog. Bye. be a lot of beach footage in this. Y'all love the beach. I just feel so close to Jesus here. And gosh, it's just so common to me. So, put my glass on. So, let's show you.
filmed a clip of the sunset from our dock. It looks so pretty. It's actually setting really quickly. So I couldn't get a very good view, but yeah, we're on the canal home. But uh, if you look in one of the front balconies, you will see the ocean. Just a little sliver. It's, it's not oceanfront, of course. But, um, which I would love to have oceanfront. But they were just un unreal. They were just so expensive. But we just spent the day shopping. This is our third day here. And I just showered and all that. I just wanted to show you all the gorgeous sunset. It just looks so good. But yeah, we just had a good day. I actually got a book today at one of the bookstores. And then, um, and then, what else? A cute mug and all that. So I think I'm gonna go eat dinner and then I'll show y'all the view from my bedroom. You might be able to see the ocean a little bit. And then I'll show you what I got from a couple of the shops. It's just little, nothing big. Um, it's. Monday, so it's our second full day, and guys, we might have a little surprise. Bethany Brings Books might be here in the video. I don't know. We'll see. She's thinking about making the trip. She's not too far from here in Ocean Isle, and we might meet up, so I'm excited. All right, y'all can't see me. I'll talk to y'all later. Mm, so pretty. Bye, guys. This has been a major fail. <laughs> Y'all, it's Thursday. It's our second to last day here. Um, we leave early Saturday morning. And long story short, I got a really bad sunburn on Tuesday, or like our first full dedicated beach day. I got a little sun Monday when we went, but we only went for a few hours. But I was literally there all day Tuesday. And I got really bad sunburn. And I used 50 SPF and I reapplied. And like my brother didn't get burned and he uses it too. But I, look at me. I'm so burnt. And I'm not going to get super close to the camera because I already filmed this once. I was going to do um, a get ready with me and do a like a chatty one. Just do really quick makeup and just discuss book updates and trip updates and I have a little haul as well just a little haul from some of the shops we went to um I'm in Ocean Isle but we went about 45 minutes to Myrtle Beach that's in South Carolina because they have a lot of shopping centers and stuff there whereas here there's nothing really 
here like that. And, um, and then I got a few things in Calabash, which is just the next town over. And I got some family gifts from there. So I'm not going to show the Callahan stuff. If y'all are interested in seeing that, maybe once I get home and give people their gifts, I can tell you what they are. So I was going to show y'all actually what I actually used for my makeup because I actually had a family member, my aunt, ask me what I use um, because she was really liking my makeup in my videos. And y'all seem to halfway, I mean, y'all didn't seem to mind the get ready with me, but I didn't tell you really what I was so using. So I had just filmed what makeup I use. At least on this beach trip, I didn't bring any powder products. So it's not my full routine. But like I said, I did have a family member want to know what I was using in my videos for makeup. And I just got so long-winded. It was like over 20 minutes of me just describing all this makeup. I know this is not what this channel is about. But, I mean, no one told me that they didn't not like the sped up get ready with me that I did in my very first vlog. Um, if y'all are interested in just a quick, easy everyday makeup routine that I do. Let me know if you want to see it. If not, that is completely fine. I might just film one anyway when I get back home and when I'm not peeling from sunburn and stuff so that I can just have people that do want to see it or, you know, like my aunt or whatever that wants to know what I use and how I use it. When I'm tan, I use the Iconic London um, Radiance Booster and Caramel Glow. It's so stunning. And then the Fit Me Maybelline Dewy and Smooth foundation. Then for, and I always moisturize before makeup application. And then for bronzer and blush, again, it's creams. I bought the infamous Charlotte Tilbury Magic Glow ones. This is the light medium contour and this is the pink blushy one. These, sorry, I was covering my face. I will say this about these. They're extremely expensive, yes. Are they worth it? Possibly. Um, where I'm naturally just so fair, the blush tends to run a little too dark for me, and the same with this. Now, if I have a tan or I was a little bit more tan complected and didn't get so fair in the fall and winter times, I would use these a lot more. Um, for the everyday gal, the glow is what it is with Charlotte Tilbury. And, you know, these are great and they're beautiful and I will use them up. But where the colors just aren't quite as long lasting and suitable for my most fair skin tone, I probably won't repurchase. Um, now, if I was living in a climate where I could get tan all the time, then yeah. But if I didn't bring that, I would be using the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. It's great. Not as glowy. Gives the same effect. It's wonderful. And then my absolute favorite blush, cream blushes of all time. This is a mini birthday version. This is in the shade Adore by Rare Beauty. I also have the full size version of... It's like a nude mauve color, and that's the one, and the bronzer that I used in my very first sped up get ready with me. They're 20 bucks for a full size one of these. Worth your money 100%. Very, um, they have different finishes, tons of colors, and they're just amazing. They're worth the hype. They are absolutely worth every bit of your money. So, and then the only powder products I brought is my highlighting quad. And yes, this is bougie. It is Dior. Um, I got it with the annual sale where you get like 10, 15, or 20% off with Sephora. Um, I also love the Huda Beauty one as well. And there is ones for deeper complexions and for the Huda. But this one I already had by Dior. Um, it's great. I use it as highlight eyeshadow. I mix them all together. Use it as highlight and eyeshadow. The darkest one when I'm fairest. I just use this eyeshadow, but the rest, you can just mix it all together. Multi-purpose is key, y'all. And I do the same with the hooded one. It's her only quadded um, highlight palette. I don't think they, I got it on over 50% off on Sephora's website a month or two ago. 
and it's not on there anymore but maybe on her actual website it might still be on there again great palette it's still even full price cheaper than the dior i would just go with huda unless you like a really bright highlight and then i brought this natasha denono again another bougie brand and i got this for over 50 percent off on the sephora sale i basically got this for this bronzer crease shade and then this glowy um sparkly eyeshadow um it's beautiful honestly i have super oily eyelids and my eyeshadow did not crease when i use this i usually just mix my powder bronzer and blush and highlight or just that highlight palette and put it all over my eyes um i also love mac satin taupe as well and mac powder blushes are my favorite and i just use a powder bronzer from the drugstore and then my favorite tools are um, the Real Techniques face brushes. They have a foundation brush, which if I use a foundation brush, it is that one. They have a really good um, like highlighting and eyeshadow brush, which is these. Love them. Um, Elf Putty Brush, amazing for cream products, cream contour, cream bronzer, and cream highlight. Amazing. You have to get one. Every time I try to get a new one, they're sold out on my Target. And I want like four of these. They're great. And I always blend everything out multiple times with a damp beauty sponge. Um, then, let's see. If I use eye or if I use eyeliner, I just use a dark matte eyeshadow like what I just showed you, or I use a brown liquid liner. Then for mascara, I either use L'Oreal Lash Paradise, always in black and always in waterproof, or if I'm out of that, I use Lash Sensational Waterproof by Maybelline. I love them both the same. This one does make my eyes, eyelashes curlier than the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, but Lash Paradise gets my lashes a smidgen longer. Honestly, I love them equally the same. I've used them on, you know, I just interchange them, love them. Of course, these eyelash curler, just a $2 one from e.l.f. And then I just use a basic um, brow gel. The best one I found is just the basic Morphe one in clear. And the lip liner that I have literally used the last 10 years and love it is Rimmel London's Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in 063 East End Snob. Um, it's a mid-tone pink. It's a retractable. Um, if I'm not wearing this, because it is a little deeper than my natural lip, and obviously more pink. If I want something supernatural with like a very light makeup day and I don't quite want to do this one, if it's just a little too dark, I will do NYX's just basic um, lip liner that you have to sharpen and it's either in the color natural or natural pink. And then I absolutely love NYX Butter Gloss and Creme Brulee. Creme Brulee. Gorgeous gorgeous if you're more of a mid-tone skin tone this might be too light but it, it works great for my skin tone and lip color and then um, I always use a setting spray again I didn't bring one up only worn makeup once on this trip my favorite drugstore setting spray is L'Oreal's Lumi glow glowy setting spray and then my favorite high-end is um, and it's still pretty reasonable it's rare beauties um, setting mist and it is glowy and you have to shake it up whenever you use it because um, it separates and you have to mix it up. So that's usually what I use y'all. And like I said, if you want like a full breakdown of every single product that I use daily, not just what I brought to the beach, let me know. I'll make that video. If not, totally fine. Um, and I don't know if I already talked about this. I think I did. But I'll go ahead and mention it. Um, my favorite everyday perfume is Idol by Lancome. It's amazing. It's light and fresh. And it's a little sweet. But the longer it wears on my skin, the more just kind of like warm and cozy it gets. It's a gorgeous everyday scent. And it can go easily into nighttime. If I want some. And it's all year long I could wear it. And then... My more summer, spring, everyday scent in those seasons is Marc Jacobs Daisy So Sweet. Um, it is a sweet scent, but it's very berry, fresh, floral. And I'm not a floral girl, but a doll by Lancome is technically a floral 
but it is not like flowers in your face. It is stunning. And this one, again, it is more on the floral side, but it's just so fresh and just feminine. Love this. And then Dime Seven Summers. Um, this is a more heavy, cozy summer nights to me perfume. Um, this is an all natural brand and it is very much a summer scent but it's supposed to be like clean non-toxic and the alcohol that they use as a base is supposed to be non-harming but it is so strong like when i first sprayed it all i smelled was alcohol the longer it sits the better it gets will i repurchase it probably not because of the price and the fact that it smells so strongly of alcohol on the first initial spray so y'all that's it um so yeah, that's what I brought with me. That's a breakdown. If I hadn't been so peeling, I would have um, applied it and showed y'all. But um, maybe I can do it for another video. Just let me know if you're even interested in that. But these are like some of my essentials. Um, and if they differed a little bit, I tried to tell you what they were that I have at home. In Myrtle, we went to Ron John's Surf Shop and we got some free stickers. And they had some gorgeous beachy like Billabong brand clothing and all that. But none of it was in my size. But I found this gorgeous butterfly mug. Like how stunning. One of my favorite colors of blue. Butterflies are like my favorite thing on the planet. And look how good of a size this is. It's just wonderful. So when I saw it I had to get it. It was about 14 bucks. And then we went to um, a used bookstore called Book Inns in um, North Myrtle and they had a Robin Jones gun book. It's almost in perfect condition. This is book one, Secrets, in the Glenbrook series. I've never read the Glenbrook series by Robin, but I think you could, could read all of the books in that series as standalones. I could be wrong, but I feel like I've heard people say that. But I've read the whole entire Christy Miller and extended Christy Miller series. I've read the first four volumes of the Sierra Jensen series. I really love Robin Jones Gunn. She is the first Christian fiction author I ever read when I was a teen in high school. And it changed my life. So, is we went to Anthropology, And Anthropology is pretty bougie. Um, they have gorgeous products. But um, it's just fun to go look. But they did have a cheap perfume. It says it's made in France. And it just says Anthropology. Um, I'm not sure if Anthropology makes it. But it was $18. And it's Audoua Toilette Vanille. Guys, I am not French. I'm a West Virginian. I've never spoke French in my life. So if you know French, did I say that correctly? Audoua Toilette Vanille. One and a half or 1.6 ounces for 20 bucks. It very much smells like, um, you know the cake, vanilla cake mixes that you can get from the store? That's exactly what this smells like. It is very sweet. If that's not for you, it's almost too sweet for me. But I thought for $18, I could try it. And maybe just a really light spritz would be just be really nice to add a little bit of a layer of sweetness to your perfume. And then we went to Ocean Isle um, Fish Company for dinner last night. I had never ate there before. Um, we're Captain Nance's people over in Calabash. Um, we drive that a few extra minutes to go there. But this food was very comparable to Cal um, Captain Nance's in Calabash. You actually got a lot more food at Ocean Isle Fish Company for the same price that you would pay at Captain Nance's. Um, but you just can't beat the hush puppies at Captain Nance's. Um, if you don't know what a hush puppy is, because I realize not everybody knows what that is. And I'm not, I mean, some people say West Virginia is Southern, but like part of our state is Southern and then the upper part of our state that's more Northern. So I do associate more with the South for sure. Um, my grandparents lived in South Carolina in a little um, farming community that, oh, when I was three or four up until I was like 14. And so I went every summer for the whole summer, a month or two. And so part of my heart is a West Virginia girl. And then the other part of my heart is a South Carolina, a Carolina's girl, because I also love North Carolina. And technically Ocean Isle Beach is in North Carolina. It's right near the border of South. 
So, um, so hush puppies are basically, you know, we, I grew, so my whole point to that was we grew up, you know, catching catfish fresh that morning. My papa would go out and fish and get fresh catfish. Then him and my grandma would clean the fish up and then we'd do a big fish fry and she'd fry all the catfish and make homemade french fries and homemade hush puppies. But Captain Nance's hush puppies are truly the best I have ever ate. Um, every time I eat them, no matter how long it's been, it just brings me back. It just brings me back. And they serve it with whipped honey butter. It's amazing. It's just a cornmeal batter that they mix up and deep fry. And yeah, so anyway, they had a little store um, at the Ocean Fish Company. I saw this while we were waiting on a table. And guys, I just had to get it. So I'm like a sentimental person in a way like, like this is gorgeous. And yes, I wanted it for myself, but I'm also the type of person that sits there and thinks, oh, if I have a little, you know, if I ever get married and if I ever am blessed with children, I could give this to my little girl someday because I have family members that do that for me. You know, I've received treasured gifts from loved ones that are, you know, not like this, but you know, it's the same premise. And those things are just very close to my heart. And so when I saw this, I just couldn't stop thinking about it through dinner of how beautiful it would just be to have displayed and then someday to pass down to my little girl, especially this is being, you know, from Ocean Isle Beach. Ocean Isle is just so close to my heart. We grew up coming, I grew up coming here. And so it's just very close to me. I do have a reading update. So I DNF'd every summer after. I could not get past some of the sexual um, little comments in the first chapter or two. I'm not gonna go into detail because I don't know how much I could say on YouTube about it. To some people, it might not be a big deal, but for me, God has just really worked in my heart over this last year of what I feed my mind and my body, like in my soul, um, with what I'm putting into it, reading, listening, watching. And I just, after I read those first little sexual comments in the first chapter, I only made it to chapter three and I no longer had any interest in the book. So I did DNF that, and that's unfortunate. You might be able to read it. Um, it is not classified as clean or Christian. It's just a contemporary romance. It's best childhood best friends to lovers. Um, so I had to DNF that. And then Sweet Lindsay, she, I don't think she started our Katie Gann shirt buddy read. So I've slowly been reading that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to read more. I'm just going to wait and see when she can really get going and start with that and then I am finishing up Legacy of Mercy today. Love it. I can't wait to read more by Lynn Austin. Um, but in my monthly wrap-up of course I'll give a full review on in more detail of these books but so that's where I'm at right now and I think I might start The Love Audit by Anna Conwell after I finish Legacy of Mercy. So Y'all, I'm just resting. This is one of our last days. And then tomorrow, Bethany Brings Books is meeting me. She's meeting me in Calabash, and we're going to spend a few hours together. I can't believe she's coming over here to see me and meet me. She's bringing her precious family. And it's just amazing to me that someone's willing to even drive, you know, just a, like an hour and a half, two hours away to meet me. Like, it's just it almost leaves me speechless because this community is just indescribable and the way that God has used it to really help me like y'all have helped me and <laughs> you know unexplainable ways God has used this community and has used you all you know viewers and other people that make videos in ways that I can never give back um and I'm so thankful and the fact that Bethany's willing to come and like bring her three children and and to come all this way to meet me is just speaks volumes and so I'm resting up today with my feet swelling and stuff so I can spend some time with her and then whatever else my family wants to do in the evening on our last night here so I love y'all I know this is a very long long-winded um clip I'm going to try to condense it down um but I love y'all and I'm so blessed to be on this trip. I hope this is an enjoyable vlog. 
and I hope y'all have been having a great week. I'll see you in the next clip. Bye. Hey y'all, so this might not be the best setup right now, but it is our last night. My sunburn is ridiculous. Y'all, look at this. My lord, help me. All right, I know y'all don't care. So, the very last portion of vacation haul is this. So, I actually didn't plan on getting um, anything else from this trip. That's why I went ahead and filmed what I filmed yesterday. Because I didn't plan on buying anything else. But, Bethany brings books. Met me here in Ocean Isle with her beautiful children. Bethany is just... She is as beautiful on the inside as she is the outside. Her children were such a joy. They were so funny. They had me laughing. Um, and just the most precious little souls, like, truthfully. And I'm not just saying that. Um, I didn't even film being with her. Um, honestly, we spent most of the day together. And it went by so fast, like... I felt like I could have spent like days just spending time with Bethany and talking with her and all the things. So I'm so blessed by Bethany and she did not have to do this, but she literally brought me a gift. So she said this was one of her favorite books. I think she said last year. I don't know y'all. My brain's a little fried at the moment. We're getting ready to go to bed and <laughs> wake up for our eight hour trip home in the morning. But it's The Love Note by Joanna Davidson, Davidson Pultano. Look how gorgeous that this um, cover is. And it sounds really good. Thank you, Bethany. Like sh guys, like I wish I could meet everybody on booktube. Um, Bethany was truly such a joy, um, and I am not someone to go and, like, meet somebody off the internet. Does that make sense? Like, I am very much an introvert. I'm shy, but, you know, I've gotten to know Bethany through her videos and through the comments, and for whatever reason, I just was like, let's do it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, why not? She was willing, she was willing to come and make the drive, and I was so happy i was so happy i couldn't have asked for a better experience and i loved her kids truly um so yeah and she also got me these precious socks always pray and never give up like cute and then she also got me a little like ceramic coaster that you put in your car you know like in the cup holder and I actually was on the search to find one because I have an Ocean Isle Beach one from when my brother came here last year. And he brought me one. He got me one, but he only brought me one. And so they didn't have any. I couldn't find one down here to go with my other one. And she ended up getting me one. It says, sorry, I'm booked. Yes. Yeah, so I'm so excited. I'm literally going to go put it in my car. I don't know why I didn't do it when I got home, but I'm going to go put that in my car in the morning. And then this precious sticker. Pray. I love this. Look at this. Oh, guys, her heart is just golden. Truly. I love you, Bethany. I really do. So, thank you, girl. And then we went to Pelican Bookstore. And honestly, guys, I'm not going to lie. A lot of the bookstores that I've been to down here used, you know, the used and or newer they just haven't been great. Like the Christian fiction and just in general, it just didn't have anything that was for me. But this bookstore had tons of classics. Because when I found the classics section, Bethany was in another store with her babies because they had to go to the bathroom. And so I was there and I was looking at all these classics and I was like, oh my gosh, what do I ask? You know, where's Bethany? <laughs> when I need her to help me pick out a classic. But, um, so I ended up getting, and I have no idea if this is a good deal, y'all, but I think this is the first book. It had a number one on it, and it says, C.S. Lewis, The Magician's Nephew. So, guys, is this the first book in 
the Chronicles of Narnia series. I think it is, if not, oh well. But I got that and it's in wonderful condition. I don't know if it was on the used section or not. It was $10, but that's fine. I haven't bought any, really, any books this whole trip. And then I saw this. This was in the, um, just the regular, I think, was this used? Y'all, my brain. I can't remember if it was used or not because they had used and new there. But it's called Mailbox by the Sea by Mark Grady. Never heard of him. And it just sounds wonderful. So it's a love story with suspense and an ending you will not soon forget. Amy Cole has her entire life mapped out by her mother, Catherine. Finish high school, attend Juilliard in New York, and become a famous concert violinist. Amy reluctantly agrees to her mother's plans. Everything changes during summer break after her junior year of high school. That's when, I almost got tongue-tied, that's when she meets Mason, the most humble, loving guy she's ever known. Their innocent summer romance evolves into falling deeply in love. And there's like more here if you all want to like pause it and read it. I don't know. That just gripped me. And so I was like, let's get it. Whatever. You only live once. The last book I got. And guys, this was used. And honestly, now that I look at it, it's kind of on the dingier side. It might not look that way on camera, but it really kind of is. It was seven bucks. I think she kind of haggled me. It was an older woman. She, I think she kind of haggled me. But it's the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. Guys, I didn't realize this was a book until I had already watched the Netflix movie. It's a totally clean Netflix movie. Um, love. It. It's honestly one of my top favorite just like standalone movies that I've watched. I, I love, love it. And I found out afterwards that it is based off a book. And me and Lindsay actually just talked about how she got that. And I was in there and I saw this and I was like, oh, I was like, this is the Guernsey book. So I got it. And yes, could I have bought new, maybe in better shape? Yeah, but you know what? I just was like, let's do it. Then, <laughs> um, oh, hold on. I need to save the free bookmark we got. My brother was like, I need that. And then I got my dad this used James Patterson. He loves James Patterson, CJ Box, Craig Johnson, um, Robert B. Parker. And it's the large print. It was on sale. It was only $10. And this is like super thick, but it is large print. You know, Papa Clagg needs some larger print. It's James Patterson's The 20th Victim. And he just, he loves James Patterson. I have no idea if he's read it. James Patterson has a bajillion thousand books. And so, just whenever I see a James Patterson book, I just buy it for my dad. So, Pops, that's for you. And that's my book haul. Um, so, I'm really happy with it. Sorry if this angle is awful. I know my face, guys. It looks ridiculous. But, I truly know that y'all really don't care. I just can't do anything about it. Like, the aloe that I put on my face, y'all burned the heck out of my skin and it was like this you know fragrance free natural and it immediately started burning my skin so I've not been able to use that um I use I used like and I don't know if I showed it but my one of my clips I had to delete it and refilm it because I had talked so much about my makeup but during that I don't even know if I kept it, but I put this thick moisturizer on. It's like a healing balm as well, and it usually reacts wonderfully with my skin when I'm just having really bad um, eczema and rosacea flares, but y'all, it like mm, reacted strange to the sunburn. So I don't know. I've actually, I've not moisturized it really because everything I've put on it has irritated my skin. And it's weird because my skin's never normally obviously irritated by these products because I use them. And I already have sensitive skin, so I know they work for me. But I know it's probably where this is just a really bad sunburn. And it's just this raw, unhealed... Actually, this is the best my sunburns looked in days. I literally looked like a tomato red, like this book. Um, so... If y'all know of what I could use, I don't know. Maybe by the time this goes up, it'll be done peeling. But I don't I don't know what to use on it because everything burns it. Um, so, yeah. 
well y'all this is the end of my trip i'm kind of sad it went by fast it's the first vacation i've had in years and years and i'm kind of sad but i'm very thankful i know that there's people that have never been able to even go on a vacation and i'm just so thankful that god was able to provide this for me um i miss my parents i'm 26 but y'all i still live at home i miss my parents they're my best friends i love them so i can't wait to get home and see them and give them their gifts my dad he's so easy to please i could give that man a cardboard piece of cardboard and say love you dad and he'd be like thank you honey i love him so and my mom's super easy to please too all right, guys. I love y'all. Um, this is the Pelican Bookstore. It was in Sunset Beach. If you're in Ocean Isle, um, it's literally three miles down the road. Super easy to get to. Um, and Bethany, love you. Can't, actually, I'm so excited to read this. You know, I said I might read... No, I was telling Lindsay this. I told Lindsay I was going to start the love audit on my Kindle book. Or on my Kindle app on our way home tomorrow. Because I'm almost done with Legacy of Mercy. I know I've said that this whole trip, but I am. Each day I read a little bit, I'm almost done with it. I might just start this on the drive home. Because reasons. I love y'all. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.